Hello, Magic Community on YouTube. I'm T1 Glistener Elf, here with my favorite moment in Magic the Gathering from my personal playing experience. That's right, it's story time. So, I'm over at GP Atlanta. I think the main event was sealed, something as such. I was not playing in that. Instead, I brought my Legacy deck with me, and there was a side event. It was just a single elimination. I want to say the prize was, like, a mat, something like that. And I wanted to enter because I don't get to play a lot of Legacy. So I'm in game or match three. Uh, game one, not game one, match one was against some Esper Deathblade deck. He just drew the wrong side of his deck, basically. He drew the Jace the Mind Sculptor, Stoneforge Mystic, Vendillion Click, Krakus, that side of his deck, instead of Deathrite Shaman, Source to Plowshares, Force of Will, Spell Pierce, poor guy. Um, so he just, that was him getting unlucky and me getting unlucky. Uh, or me getting lucky, rather. The next was against a Storm player. She was on Ant. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Ant, not Tess. I never saw Ad Nauseam itself, but I did not see Silence. And I know that Ant is the more consistent deck. And she and I just raced each other, and I happened to win the race. Um, and then I get to match three, and I'm playing against a Shardless Bug player. So all of the creatures in the Shardless Bug deck have at least two toughness. I mean, Tarmogoyf has one, but let's face it, unless there's a rest in peace on the field, it has two. <laughs> or more. Or way more. And so it's important to note for this that they can play Knight of Souls Betrayal in their sideboard, and they did. So my opponent and I are playing. I get game one, just doing the real quick combo. My opponent on uh, game two sticks the T1 Deathrite Shaman, and I look at the Glistener Elf in my hand without a Noble Hierarch and think, well, that's sad, poor guy, and sticks the Knight of Souls Betrayal, and I just lose. So I go to game three. I scoop it up, by the way, because I did not expect to need uh, Artifact or Enchantment. Hey, I bring in my Nature's Claims, I bring in my Crescent Grip, and we go to game three. I Eventually, we get into a state where my opponent has stuck the Knight of Souls Betrayal, which means I can't win until I get rid of it. None of my creatures will remain alive. And they have a Tarmogoyf. Now, the Tarmogoyf is at this point, I don't even remember what it was to start, but I see a line of play that I have where I can kill the Tarmogoyf. Now, I'm not running any kill spells in the deck per se, but I am running Become Immense and Crop Rotation, and I brought in from the sideboard Bojuka Bog. Okay, so this is a thing. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, this is apparently a thing. So, Tarmogoyf comes into swing, I crop rotate, I don't know, like the basic forest or whatever, I crop rotate one of my lands for Bajuka Bog, and I remove my opponent's graveyard. Then I play Become Immense, delving all of the cards in my graveyard and targeting the only creature on the field, Tarmogoyf. Well, lo and behold, with no more cards left in either player's graveyard, and with Knight of Souls Betrayal on the field, my opponent's Tarmogoyf died to its own state-based action, to its own uh, Knight of Souls Betrayal. Did I win that game? No. I wasn't able to find Nature's Claim or Crossing Grip in time. Uh, it's unfortunate after something like that, but nevertheless, my opponent beat me and moved on, but I got to come away with that nice little story. Uh, so yeah, I can you can kill a Tarmogoyf with a pump spell. Is It's basically the moral of this story. You can kill Tarmogoyf with a pump. Uh, I don't remember most of the rest of what happened during that, but that I'll remember, f I hope, for a while. So that's it. Take care, Magic Community on YouTube. I will see you later. Bye-bye.